This is Twit. What problem are people solving when they're reaching for OpenCast? It's a little bit like a, a teeny tiny uh, little YouTube for, for one institution. Um, though uh, teeny tiny, it doesn't always fit it quite well because uh, if we are looking at some of the larger institutions, we're actually looking at uh, somewhat uh, around 70,000 to uh, more than 100,000 videos they are managing. But there are also wow. very small ones. Wow. So talk about the major components. I think I hit a couple of them, but uh, can you tell me sort of what what's in the box? So the idea is mainly to have a, a processing and distribution channel, which is more or less, if you want to, uh, completely automate it. So um, let's say your university, uh, that's the most common case. So you have all these lecture halls and all the lecturers doing the, the regular lectures, and you don't want to really disturb them with uh, recording stuff. So uh, what you build in, into your lecture halls is some kind of video capture device and there are a bunch of different options for this. So uh, there are a lot of vendors who actually interact with OpenCast. So you can just go out, grab one of their solutions and uh, put it into the lecture hall. But you can also build it yourself. Uh, in fact, there are a few free and open source software solutions uh, around OpenCast, which handles exactly this. So you can build your own uh, hardware, which then captures your lecture, uh, then it automatically uploads this to to OpenCast, which is then the core system, uh, which does things like, well, most importantly, process the video, uh, so generate uh, different qualities from this and stuff like that. Uh, there is a small video editor in the administrative tools, uh, so you can cut stuff away. Uh, Maybe it's a private conversation that your lecturer had at the beginning of the recording. Um, mm -hmm. you, there's automatically a detection for or a video analysis. For example, there is a slide detection. So usually if you have your standard PowerPoint slides, then uh, OpenCast would detect these slides and you can uh, later in the player jump to each and every slide separately. Um, and it also does a little bit of uh, text extraction, for example, on these slides, so you can search through your videos. Um, yeah, and then finally, it does publish uh, your video. And for publishing, we actually have a lot of different options. You can just use the internal uh, media portal, though it's it's not a very sophisticated video portal. Uh, so it's actually a project for not like next year, I think. Oh, sorry, no, it's 2019 already, so it's a project for this year. <laughs> uh, but um, there's a small one in there, but you could also integrate uh, into other systems. Uh, so a lot of universities actually uh, integrate the system in their lecture management system. So. Uh, I'm not sure if you, these names say anything. Uh, I know they say, do to me because I'm in the academic section of open source, but you can integrate it into Sakai or Canvas or Blackboard or um, Elias or Moodle. Um, so that's, that's most of the publications. And then finally, if you want to, you can actually automatically publish to YouTube. Uh, so. That's that's still an option for if you want to.